Hi fellow Webflowers. Recently, I had to build a form for a customer and he asked me if I can set up a confirmation email that automatically gets sent to the user. I followed my first impulse and said, yes, sure. But after that, I asked myself, how should I set this up? And don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about the email you get as an admin of the website. I talk about an email the person receives who filled out the form. Per default, this doesn't work with Webflow. And so I started to Google for tutorials and even on YouTube, I found nothing. I actually couldn't believe it because it sounds like a standard thing. So I made myself through a couple of different tutorials for other use cases and found a solution how to set up an automation with Make. Because I couldn't find any tutorials, it was obvious that I need to record one. And I'm about to show you the easy way where we set it up with a Google Mail account. So let's get into it. So here we have our contact form and every time a user comes here and fills it out, I want an automated email uh, to be sent to the email address the user fills in here. And on the other hand, we have make and here we have to set something up so this email gets automatically sent. So let's start with that. The first thing we have to do here in Make is go to the scenarios and create a new scenario. And we click here on the big fat plus and type in Webflow and we choose Webflow. And while I have a lot of options here now, I choose the first one, the webhook, watch events. And now you uh, can choose a hook. Probably you didn't set any up yet. So that's what we are doing next. We set up a um, hook. Uh, we call it, um, or just call it tutorial. And here we connect it to a new website. I also just call it tutorial. You have to wait for a second and now you can here search for your website. Choose your website, authorize the app. And now you can choose here your site. You have to wait for a second, choose it. And now um, a trigger type. Here is also a bunch of options, but the first one, form submissions, is the one that we are looking for. So let's go with that one. So, and so that the first step is already done. And why we could go here and set up now um, the, the email, uh, we don't do that yet. Uh, we click here on run once, and now you can see um, this wheel is spinning here and here it says waiting for data. So make is now listening or watching this form and sees if something is happening. So let's go to this form and just fill in my stuff here and say, hi, uh, I like your website and send it. And if we now go back to make, you can see um, the wheel isn't spinning anymore and here's a bubble with a one. If you click on this, you can see, okay, something happened and here a little bit hidden is this uh, data and you can collapse it. And now you can see the um, data that was used here and also uh, the, the message. Fine, this worked. So let's go to the next step where we set up the email. Um, let's tape, uh, type mail. Oh, and by the way, if you want to become a top-notch Webflow developer, then subscribe to my channel. I publish videos like this about Webflow, creative business and Figma every week. I'm going to add here and choose Google restricted. And I'm going to name this tutorial again. Again, I have to wait for a while. Now I can choose um, my desired email account. I just take our standard email account from our agency, connected, and here we go. Now it's connected. 
And the next step is that it is asking me if I want to save um, the message after it could send it. So uh, just send a, uh, save a copy of it. Of course I want this. And now he's asking me again to uh, choose the connection. I choose the right connection. And now he's asking me in which folder he should save this email. And I'm going to save this in the folder send emails. And the next step is that I choose a recipient for this email. So click on the plus sign here. And now you can see all the fields he collected while he was waiting on data from here. And I'm clicking here on this email address. And now it's set up that this email gets sent to the email that was uh, received by the form submission. So let's go to the subject and we can type something like, um, we received your message, oops, message, and let's personalize it with the first name. Here you can choose between HTML email or plain text. Plain text will probably be enough. I've prepared some text, so let's uh, copy it in here. Hi, um, let's again choose the first name. Thanks for a message. Please give us a day to reply to it. Here's a copy of your message. Let's put it in. And let's uh, put the message in here. Okay. This already works. And let's save this one. And um, so it works, you have to turn it on. So turn it on here. And now it is already working. Let's go back to our form. Refresh it and type in again my credentials and hi, I want some ice cream. Okay, here we go. And let's go over to our mail account. Let's refresh here. And you can see I've received an email. We received your message, Felix. Hi, Felix. Thanks for your message. Please give us a day to reply. Here's a copy of your message. I want some ice cream. You can see this one is working. But while this is perfectly working, there's one problem. The problem is if you have more than one form on your website. Let's go back to our website and uh, go to this page. And here now I have a demo form. Let's fill it out and type some text. I want a demo and send a message. So here we go. And now when I go to my email account, I can see um, that there was an error. The scenario has been stopped. Oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> so the problem is that it's now receiving data from a different uh, form and it can't work with it. So but there's an easy solution in Make. Let's get back to Make. And uh, yeah, what we need is here under Tools and you need a router. Let's add this router here. Like this. Okay, delete this one. And let's also, let's set up a second router like this one. And this router, uh, you can go here and set up a filter actually. Um, Let's give this one the name contact. It's for the contact form. And here you can choose name. And this is the name of the form. And if you now go to Webflow, here's our contact form. Let's choose it here and go to the settings. And you can see here's the name of the form. It's called contact form. So let's copy that name. Let's go back to make and just paste the name here and press save. Save it again. And let's go back to our site. And when I'm now reusing this demo form, nothing will happen. And if I'm using my contact form, let's uh, try it one more time. Just uh, give it a short message and send it. Just have to wait a second. 
So you have to be sure that it's on after an error. Um, it can be off even so it stands on here. So I turn it off and turn it on again. Uh, be sure you also save it after you've uh, set up a filter here. And let's go to our contact form, use it, and just type in some message like this and send it. Let's go to our inbox and wait there. Here we got the message. We received your message, Felix. And you can see here this message. Okay, fine. Let's um, delete this one. And let's set it up for the second form, the demo form. So if you now go to uh, Webflow and I go here to my demo page, you can see I also have a form here. The name of the form is demo form. Let's go to make, set up a filter here again. Let's call it demo and choose the name. The name will be demo form. Okay. And now we have to click on run once again because um, Webflow didn't receive any data yet and we need some data here to set it up. So let's go to the demo form, fill it out. I want a demo send message. You can see we got some data and let's set up this email again, send email. Choose our Google mail account. We are again, we want to save a message. We also, it's the same steps like before. So I'm just rushing through it. Again, it should be saved in the folder, send emails. And now we have to set up the recipient for the mail. So it's that email here. Then the subject will be um, your demo and the name. Let's choose plain text email again. Oh. And here's my mail, put in the name. And that's it actually. So now you can see we have here like um, this router and two objects that will or modules that will send out the email. And if you click here, you can see this one is a contact form and uh, this one is demo form. That's nice. Let's save it. And let's go back to our website, refresh, fill out. Let's write demo now. And if you can see your demo, Felix, um, hi, demo form. Okay. <laughs> I, did, um, I didn't um, choose the first name. I uh, choose the name of the form. Um, you can see here, name. I have to choose first name, save, uh, say save here. Um, but the rest is correct. Thanks for your interest in the demo. One of our agents will contact you and so on. Um, let's also go to the contact form and try also this one. Our contact. Let's send it and go to our inbox. And here we go. We received your message, Felix. Nice. So your automation is set up and you can lean back while it is sending out confirmation mails for you. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay in the flow.